I woke up with one of the worst stress headaches ever. It was in and around my eyes. It was at the back of my neck going down my back. I knew I was in trouble. I didn't really want to get up. It was debilitating me and I was still in bed. And I actually think I slept for maybe eight hours. But the night before, there was some family crises. And there was just a lot of stress involved in it. And I didn't want to take it to bed. I didn't want it to affect me all night. But as you know, us thinkers, us melancholy types, we don't have a choice. More often than not, what happens when we fall asleep? And even though I slept, I really didn't get the rest. And unfortunately, this impacts the rest of the day. For example, I went down to make breakfast the way I do almost every day. I have an order the way I like to do breakfast. I make my wife's her breakfast and I make mine my breakfast. They're two different breakfasts. I do it differently, but I have a system. And this morning, my wife came in from outside, which she normally does earlier than normal. <laughs> And she gets a call from my daughter. And she's now in the kitchen, invading my space. The whole routine was being messed up. And I was going into an internal angst. I mean, the anger was coming out of me. She was talking too loudly to, you know, to, to my daughter. She was talking too long to my daughter. I mean, I was really messed up. You, you hear about the people who, uh, with the eggshells, you don't know what to do. Well, I was the cause of the eggshell. And I, I, I kind of knew it, but I couldn't control it. It would just overwhelm me. But I had enough awareness of what was going on to, tr to keep it in place, and I kind of internalized it. And when I had breakfast with my wife, I kind of explained what was going on inside. The angst, the stress, the, the anger that was boiling up over nothing over talking to my daughter close the windows it's, it's hot out you're chewing too loudly you know what i'm talking about didn't matter what you would do it was all going to be problematic to me and i tell you this story because i know i'm not alone in this that many of us wake up in the morning just in a bad place now, what did I do? First, I know enough about myself, my, the awareness of myself, to know this dynamic, dynamic exists to me. So that helps me, you know, stare it down to ward it off. I did the deep breathing. It wasn't working, <laughs> but I continued to deep breathe anyway. And I knew I just needed some time to let it out, to move my shoulders around, not to have a conversation, not to do anything, but to work it out of my system. And so when that happens to you, you need to have something to dissipate it. Otherwise, we're going to mess up our relationships. And here's the tip. If that happens to, do, to you and you do mess up that scenario, you get anger and you, you lash out, explain it explain it to your relationship whether it's your spouse your friend this was going on inside you it was taking control you didn't really want to do it and and and, and you were trying to have it dissipated and move out of you just for them to understand it wasn't them they're not at fault that's going to go a long way in your relationship so I feel badly when it happens. It'll happen again to me. It'll happen again to you. Try to have some strategies to, to stare it down. And if you do negatively impact on somebody else, talk to them about it. One last tip, your own talk therapy. Yes, you don't need a counselor or a coach. I'm a counselor, a coach. You don't need them. I, I talk to myself about it. I try to talk it through. So try that as well. Just, just talk to yourself, explain to yourself what's going on in your mind, in your emotions, in, in your heart, and that will help dissipate it. Anyway, you try to have a great day. This would happen to you last night. I'm, I'm sorry, but there's always new beginnings.